after 11 weeks of protests. Hong Kong's leader, Carrie Lam, says she hopes the peaceful demonstrations at the weekend mark a return to calm in the territory. Sunday saw as many as 1.7 million people take to the streets, the latest in a series of protests against the influence of Beijing. Well, Ms Lam also says she will set up a platform for dialogue with people of all backgrounds. To address some anxieties and differences in society is we will start immediately a platform uh, for dialogue with people from all walks of life. So um, this is something that we want to do uh, in a very sincere and humble manner. I and my principal officials are committed to listen to what the people have to tell us. And we want to reach out to the community as soon as possible. Well, Carrie Lam's latest intervention coincides with news that an employee with the UK consulate in Hong Kong has been detained on the mainland. Simon Chung, who's 28, has not been seen now for 10 days. Uh, let's get the latest from our correspondent, Steve McDonnell, who joins us from Hong Kong. Uh, let's start with the missing uh, employee of the consulate. What do we know, Steve? So Simon Chang, who works for the consulate as a, an investment advisor, was in the mainland and returning to Hong Kong on a high-speed train. He messaged his girlfriend from on board the train, seemed to be indicating some concern in one of those messages, reportedly saying something on the lines of, pray for me as I re-enter Hong Kong, then went missing. Now, for 12 days he's been missing, he didn't turn up for work, and we've had an official statement from the Foreign Office saying that Britain is very concerned about these reports, that he has, in fact, been detained. And you can imagine the tension this is going to mean again for the Britain-China relationship over Hong Kong, especially you know, given, given the you know, back and forth over recent weeks with uh, China telling Britain to you know, get its nose out of Hong Kong and the like. But yes, a lot of concern from uh, the British Foreign Office saying they're providing support for his family and also that they've been asking both Hong Kong and mainland Chinese, mainland Chinese government officials for information about where in fact their staff member, their officer from the consulate has been taken to. Turning to Carrie Lam's uh, latest statement today in that press conference, a platform for dialogue uh, and an investigation into police, will that be enough to satisfy the protest movement? Well, I think one of the big problems is we don't know what form this dialogue will take. I mean, where, where will it happen? When will it happen? How do you participate? Who can participate? All of this is yet to be revealed. And I think people aren't going to be able to judge it until they see that, uh, you know, that sort of detail. But I should add that amongst the protesters' demands, such a dialogue hasn't been one of them. So while they might welcome it, they might also say, well, really, it's not what, what we're after are other things. We're after the, an independent inquiry into the police. We're after universal suffrage. Uh, you know, we're after the people who've already been detained for protesting being released. We're after people not being called rioters, uh, being labelled as rioters by the government. Uh, now, Carrie Lam, interestingly, did speak also about an inquiry into the police via the official police complaints mechanism. But that's been promised before uh, from the, the government here, and I'm not sure that's going to be enough because this is the, this is the thing they say they want, uh, an independent inquiry. I, I guess they'd be thinking a, a judge or someone like that outside of the current government system to hold such an inquiry. And until they got something like that, I don't think it will be enough for the protesters. But at least uh, both sides are being a little bit conciliatory today. On the demonstrators' side, there were mass protests on the weekend which were peaceful. And the government of Hong Kong has acknowledged that, saying it is a step towards some sort of return to calm. And on the government side, they're saying there is going to be some sort of dialogue, but we just have to wait and see what type of dialogue it is. All right, Steve McDonald uh, in Hong Kong. Thank you very much indeed. More protests planned uh, for the rest of the week as well there.